What's up YouTube? I'm back and as you can tell by familiar white walls and the better lighting in contrast to my last video which was you know super shitty dorm life, um, I'm back home. So that means that gotta make a video and um, I wanted to do a double pickup and double mini review video um, just because I got two really really dope things in this week uh, I just have to share with you guys. Um, so first things first, it's a pair of shoes. Um, as you guys know, I'm quite a fan of the Saint Laurent footwear. Um, so uh, my last video was showing off the Baby Cats, which was like the cheetah print shoe in this one. And um, I got that one pretty beat uh, for free. And they're, you know, they're still my beater shoes and I love them just because they're really well styled with, you know, almost any color pants. Um, but these right here, you know, uh, this like kind of beige camel color is one of my favorite colors. Uh, I try to incorporate it into as much of my outfits as possible, even if it's just like the washing of my jeans or something, or like a t-shirt or like, you know, uh, accessories or whatever. Um, but I saw these at Saint Laurent close to a year ago, actually. And, um, you know, I just fell in love with them. This, I love suede also, suede is my favorite material. And, uh, you know, they're $700 at Saint Laurent, and that's kind of a lot for suede bands. Suede Vans lookalikes, although, you know, my friends joke around that these are Vans. Um, but I managed to pick these up for super inexpensively off uh, Grailed, which is a site that I dropped in one of my videos uh, a couple videos ago. Um, so, here it is. Might as, a little, might as well do a short little video of it. Um, but, <clears throat> I'm a size 12 in everything I wear, basically. And that uh, translates to a size 45 in European sizing. Um, this is a 45 and a half and the rule for these is you size up at least half a size do not listen to what Barney says do not listen to what Saint Laurent says listen to what I say because these you have to go up half a size or they're just super uncomfortable or you have to remove the insole and put like a fucking bed of tissue paper so your foot can fit and not die that's my official word on it so I size up to a 45 and a half or a 45 plus depending on who you're talking to. Um, and they fit like a fucking dream. Um, features of this, as you can tell, it's an all suede exterior and it looks super like cheap suede, but it's like super nice actually. Um, but I put a waterproof coating on it um, just for uh, longevity reasons. Uh, off white midsole over here and then a gum sole on the bottom. Saint Laurent tag right there. Uh, the herringbone thing doesn't have the waffle sole like Vans. Um, Saint Laurent right here. Saint Laurent right here. I don't know if you can tell that in the light, in the lighting. Maybe no. Saint Laurent right here. In case you were wondering what shoes these are, um, and then uh, oh, and same thing on the insole as well. But the thing that I like about these is. Um, they came with the actual sole, and these look kind of nasty because I wore these to a concert, but um, it's a full leather sole. Um, it's lined with leather on the inside, and then it has a little bit of suede on the heel right here. It's a super comfortable shoe. Like, looks can be entirely deceiving, and I'm not saying that it's worth the money retail, but it's definitely a really high quality shoe, and I love it. I love this shoe. I've been wearing it nonstop since when I got it last week. Um, so yeah, I picked these up for like a sixth of retail, let's put it that way. Um, brand new with the box. I don't have the box, it's back, it's back at school, I apologize, but I came home with them and um, had, to, had to show them. Um, so yeah, Saint Laurent Skate Sneaker, I think that's what they're called. Um, go pick them up, for sure. So, the uh, second item that I wanted to talk about is probably the bigger one, I think, um, because I buy most of my stuff online just because you can get better discounts, you can get uh, more sizing sometimes, or just like, you know, it's a different experience shopping online than shopping in store for sure, and you know, the money is definitely a big part of it. Also, when you pay through PayPal, for me at least, I don't count that as real money, so like, an $800 transaction on PayPal strictly through my PayPal money is entirely different than swiping my card for $800. So as much of like a contradiction as that is because money is money. But 
Um, I was looking for a pair of light wash denim, much like the ones that I'm wearing right here, but better. Um, and I always go to Acme Studios because I'm I'm such a fan of their stuff. I have three pairs of their denim. Uh, this is a pair of Acne's. The other light wash jeans that you guys have seen in some of my videos and on Instagram and stuff, those are also even older Acne's that are even more disgusting and actually smell like garbage despite how sick they look. And then I have my Max Cash, which are my black jeans, which are like the go-to black jeans for like the rest of my life as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I was looking for something light wash still, but different. Um, and uh, I got this email from Trebien, which is a, an online retailer that I hope I've talked about, um, but it's a great online retailer from Europe that gets you 20% off all your purchases if you're in America, just because you're not in Europe, so you get 20% off. Um, and I got this email from them saying that they got new agony stuff, and of course I checked it out, and I see this dope pair of pants, and I'm like, I need these. Like, this is exactly what I want. And so I was going up to LA this weekend and I was just thinking to myself, like, might as well make a stop in downtown LA in the Acme store uh, because A, if you've ever been there, you know how fucking sick it is. Like, everything from the employees to the, like, architecture of the place is just absolutely incredible. It's one of my favorite retail experiences, even just walking in and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I stopped by and I went immediately to the denim rack and I saw the wash, like, it was the first thing that stood out to me, and I was like, this is it, like, I have to try these on. And I looked, and I, at the tag, and it was the same wash, but a different cut. And so what that means is, when you buy acne jeans, it's always acne, cut, wash. That's the naming procedure, so it's like acne, max, cash. So that's, acne is the brand, max is the cut, max is their slim cut, uh, and then cash is their code for black. These are max contrast light. So max is the cut, these are slim jeans, and then contrast light is the wash uh, name, I guess. So the ones that I saw uh, were called Ace, and Ace is their skinny tapered one. And um, you know, for most people that's not really a problem because they fit great. But um, I have really big calves, so Tapered jeans can be kind of a difficult thing just because it's a really wonky fit. So buying, you know, good looking designer denim is kind of a struggle for me. Um, but, uh, you know, I was talking to the guy, I told him my predicament, I was like, I really want these. And he's like, you know, I'll just like show you all the other maxes in this similar wash. And then, you know, you can just try them on and make an informed decision online and stuff. Sorry that we don't have it in, in store or whatever. Um, and I was like, okay, sure. And I tried on a bunch of pants. It was super great. Uh, it was super nice. But then he's like, do you want to try on the Ace pants just to see like how they fit? And I'm like, okay, sure. Get me one size larger to accommodate for the skinnier leg or whatever. Put them on. And it was just so perfect. I'm like not even joking. These are probably some of my favorite pants. Um, and I, I figure I might as well just get right into it. Um, it, they came in this bag because you know when you shop at Acne you get a fucking badass Acne bag. Details on the bag like this fucking thick ass ribbon as well as the letters are raised. You can't see that but maybe you can. The letters are raised uh, on the jeans themselves. You get this sash which is on the butt pocket. I know friends that keep this on when after they buy the jeans. You don't keep this on. You take this off. Uh, on it, you get like sizing information and stuff. And then this is the hang tag for the price. Um, super little minimalist kind of thing. There we go. I paid 270 for these and they're called the Ace Light Prince. So Light Prince is the wash and Ace is the cut. Um, if you wanna pick these up off Treb Yen, as I'm making this video, they have them in stock in the Max cut, which is also super dope. Max seems to be like really popular as well at least for me, um, but might as well show you the pants. Here they are, and I'm trying really hard to get the right lighting so I don't make them look too dark, but you know, these are fairly light wash pants, and these are maybe like one shade darker, but they're also like a little bit dustier in the wash, like especially on the thigh area, and I really, really heavily fuck with that. 
Um, here's the back. So, uh, sizing, I went up a size in these, so the waist is actually pretty big. Um, but you know, nothing a belt or a little tailoring will fix. Um, however, uh, some details on the aces that I should talk about. On the back, they don't have rivets. They're actually like sewn in and apparently that's more durable. Uh, and that's kind of like the sign of, you know, they're more like rugged kind of, um, you know, these are more for like a rugged kind of active person. Whereas the max apparently is just for like less rugged people or something. That's what they told me. That could be bullshit, but you know, got to spread the truth or the knowledge or whatever. Um, information tag on the inside, sizing and the model name and stuff. Um, I'm just super duper stoked on these. Um, you know, light wash is kind of a thing that's, you know, every spring and summer, you kind of have to have like your go-to pair of light wash. And these are mine for this year. Um, I wish I had my other pair of light wash acnes to compare all three of them, but I mean, as you can see, these are slightly different, um, and I'm just really, really looking forward to uh, wearing these and styling these. It looks great with gray. This is a John Elliott tee, um, like my go-to fucking t-shirt, and it looks, I can't even, I can't do anything with this, but like, it looks super duper clean, um, just like this. And um, I look forward to wearing these. Uh, this video is getting really fucking long, so I apologize for the length and me rambling. Thank you guys for watching this once again. Um, I appreciate all the comments, all the messages I get, all the likes and stuff. I, I love getting emails that I have new subscribers and everything. So almost at 100 subscribers, so I'm really, really stoked about that because I'm just doing this shit for fun. Uh, and for you guys, because you guys always ask for new content and whatever. Um, so yeah, keep up with me on social media. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, any questions about anything that you saw, feel free to hit me up. I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, peace guys.